What's happening guys, it's Matt Pinella from Matt Bangs Wood. Today we're gonna be reviewing my setup from Buckaroo Leatherworks. Now I made a video a few months ago when I first got this set, kind of showing it off, the ins and outs of it, uh, the different pockets and stuff, but that was just to where you can see it. I wanna get in depth and talk about the pros, the cons, and everything in between about these pouches, about this belt. Let's make it happen. For starters, if you have never heard of this company, Buckaroo Leatherworks is a company based out of Australia. They have been making leather belts since 1971. I don't even think I was a thought yet. No, my parents were born in 77. My parents weren't even a thought yet. That's a long time ago. Buckaroo Leatherworks now designs and sells what I would consider the best leather tool belt on the market. Now I have worn Occidentals over and over. I own a couple sets of Occidentals. This setup blows it out of the water 100%. One of my favorite things about ordering through Buckaroo Leatherworks is the fact that you're able to sit down and piece together your whole belt setup for your specific needs. If you don't know what you want, talk to them, tell them what you need, they'll help you out. They helped me out quite a bit. I was kind of jumbled up on what I needed, how I needed it, and where I needed it. And while they don't sell that many kits, I will have a link down in the description below to each one of these items if you want to have a Matt Bangs Wood setup. Uh, go ahead and order each one of these. Personally, I love it. It might work for you, it might not. All right guys, so let's check this out. This is the all-rounder belt. This is a size 36. I wear a size 34. I have a couple little notches left in the belt. This is a super padded design though. Feels great around the waist. You'll notice one thing though. There's actually two belts. You have this belt here that holds all of your pouches and your frogs tight to your all-rounder belt. And then the all-rounder belt actually goes around your waist and secures. This is great for one thing. When you go to take off your bags on lunch, take your bags off, set them down. With my Occidentals, I'd always have a pouch go flying off. All my tools would fly out of it. It was a pain in the ass. That no longer happens with this Buckaroo setup and I absolutely love it. They also have another option called the Signature Tradesman's Back Support Tool Belt that features an even more padded belt setup. If you have back trouble, it's right up your alley. Let's take this, set this aside. Talk more about these pouches. Now one of my favorite things about the Buckery Leatherworks setup, when I was searching for a new belt, one thing that I was really looking for was a belt that wasn't gonna stick out a foot on each side of me. I couldn't fit through walls. Um, I mean, I'm not the smallest guy already, but when I had my Occidentals on, there was no way in hell I was fitting through a 16 inch bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this belt setup. You guys will see just how quick it is. My suspenders are already on the belt. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory how those go on. So I really didn't wanna take them off, but let's toss these guys on the belt. I'll show you how I set it up. Put our pouches up here for a second, our frog. All right, so we take this secondary belt here, slide it right on in. On my left, I have the three pocket nail bag. This is a combo holster. They call them frogs. So my chisel slides right here in the top. My hammer goes right here. Slide through this little loop here. And then on my right side, I have a two pocket nail bag. Your belt setup's good to go. I'm gonna toss it on, load it full of tools. We'll talk a little bit more. All right, so like I told you, that secondary belt holds all of your pouches on. You don't have to worry about any of them flying off. And then you've got the actual all-rounder belt here. Get that guy on there. Let's talk about this. My left side, keep my square. I used to keep my torpedo out here. I no longer carry a torpedo. I'll save that for another video. Up here, I keep my cat's paw, my nail puller, whatever you'd like to call it. And then down here on the bottom, it's my tape measure. I don't normally carry a ton of pencils or markers or anything unless we're plating and detailing, but down here, two nice little spots, keep a Sharpie in one, spare pencil in the other. Flip over to my right side here. I change locations with this little guy. It's either clipped there or clipped there. I like being able to get it real quick, pop it out if need be, put it away. That spot works for me. I keep a chalk box down in the bottom pouch there, and then in this top pouch, 
which is really big. I keep all of my fasteners. In the beginning, I wasn't too sure on how much I would really be able to carry, but um, you can cram just about as many 16s as you want. 15 to 20 racks will fit in there. Um, obviously not very comfortably, because who wants to carry 15 to 20 racks of 16s, but it's doable. Same thing goes for this outside here. You've got two little pencil slots or a nail punch, whatever you want to carry. My favorite thing of all. That is the hammer chisel frog combo. When you need to get out your chisel, chances are you need to get your hammer. Makes it really quick to just turn around, grab both, and you're good to go. Putting them away is a breeze too. You have your chisel, slides right there in the top. Hammer follows. Another thing about this setup that I have always liked is the little reflective strips here and then the neon orange shoulder braces or as we call them suspenders. I have had Instagram followers message me and say, hey Matt, I seen you on the roof. They were driving by on the freeway. The freeway is a couple hundred feet away. I'm thinking how in the hell do you see me? Orange suspenders. I'm not cocky, but I do enjoy standing out and being different. And this is one way that I can definitely do that. Ever since I got this belt set up, my dad has called me his little buckaroo. It's the cutest thing. Another reason why I got the bright orange was, for instance, I got a one page write up in JLC's magazine for one of my tips and tricks that I shared on Instagram. You can definitely see the bright orange. It doesn't help that I was wearing red pants either. I don't know. I like to stand out. I like to be different. Overall though, access to your tools is really nice. Everything is right there, quick to get to, easy to put away without any problems. Do that twice. Now I am not gonna go into detail on what tools are in my bags. I know I have some tools that spark some controversy. We'll save that for another video where you guys can rage out in the comments. One thing that really changed my attitude at work, if you are not happy with the belt setup you've got, if they're painful, if they're falling off of you, your day is not gonna go good. With this buckaroo setup, I'm able to work 100% of the time without issues, without things falling out. I love it. It makes my day better, it makes me work better. Back to these shoulder braces or suspenders, whatever you would like to call them for a second. You'll notice that they hook here, right in front of your hips, go up, they Y off at the back and then drop down to a single hook down here at the bottom. This is a super comfortable design. There is a bit of padding on your shoulders. I can't feel these things at all throughout the day. If you're gonna get a buckaroo leatherwork setup or any setup for that matter, I highly suggest you wearing suspenders. One thing that I have found that somewhat bugs me, with my hammer and chisel holster right there, you'll notice that the belt kind of kinks up here in the back. And when you go to put it on, you'll notice that that little spot right there is still kinked. You have to lift the bags up onto your back, which isn't really a big deal. That is the only complaint that I have ever had about Buckery Leatherworks. Now we'll get a close up on the leather for the pouches here. It's actually a pretty thin material. And in the beginning, I was kind of concerned I might be puncturing holes or rubbing holes in the bottom here. Um, so far, both bags are completely hole free and they barely look like they're even broken in. Overall, I have been nothing but happy with Buckaroo Leatherworks. This setup has been a back saver for me, um, a time saver as well. I'm able to get to everything I need a lot quicker than I could have with the Occidental setup. All right, guys, that is all we have time for. If you want to check out Buckaroo Leatherworks and see if maybe you want to get a belt from them, I have their website down in the description below. Along with their website, their Instagram will be down there as well. And each of these pouches, the chisel, hammer, holster, suspenders here, and the belt. You can have the same exact setup that you saw here in this video. Add them to your cart, hit checkout, you're good to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know somehow. Either DM me on Instagram, leave a comment down below, get in touch with me somehow. If you have any questions about this setup, please do the same. DM me, leave a comment down below, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll see you on my next video.